<laughs> Good to me. <laughs> uh, so we're, just, we're obviously getting ready for our first game. So this year is a little different with all the COVID, the COVID uh, precautions we have to take. So we try to be proactive from a player standpoint and a staff standpoint. So around our room, we're doing our usual, usual stuff that people have seen us do for pregame on decal and helmets, setting up lockers, things of that nature. But this year it's been a lot, it's a lot more on our plate just to make sure everybody is protected from COVID. So um, in addition to that, we have a couple different initiatives we're doing uh, within the university and the ICC from a, uh, an, an equality standpoint, so social justice standpoint. So uh, another thing in regards to that, we'll add this year is a patch to our uniforms. So both our red and our white uniforms have an equality patch. So you'll, you'll notice above the SEC logo, this is something we've done at the University of Arkansas. So you'll see that across all of our sports. So we have it on both uniforms. So you'll see every player on Saturday is wearing the, the equality patch. So sideline accessories that you're not used to. So we got, you know, you're matching, you're matching gators for the coaches and staff. So you still get the support the Razorback logo, it'll match the uniform. It's essentially becoming a part of the uniform this year. So um, it's just kind of that added protection on the sideline when social distancing isn't as uh, accessible, um, you know, just to prevent potential passing of the COVID, COVID virus around while players are off the field, not competing. Uh, another thing that we'll do, which they recently released this through the SEC was contact tracing. It is from Connexon, the company's Connexon. It is the same system that the NFL teams are using. So these little chips here, these little chips here will be inside the player's shoulder pads. There's a little pouch that you'll see it. You won't even see it, it'll be tucked on the front of the pad. Um, when it's plugged in, you can see the green light. When you take it off the charger, the light disappears. On, on game day, if you are within six feet, this will light up red to alert you that you're too close from a uh, contact tracing standpoint. So that way we'll know the players are not properly spacing and they kind of get within that six foot buffer that would potentially make them a contact trace in the event that someone tested positive uh, for, the, for the virus. So this stuff, uh, we'll wear it all day. It's a 12 hour battery life. So all, all game day long, they'll be wearing it. Um, what they'll end up doing at the end is I'll collect them all back. We, we dock them connects to a computer and then it extrapolates the information into a program and it will tell us exactly player X is by player Y for so, so many minutes, so many consecutive minutes. It is a cross compatible software. So all 14 teams are using the same technology and same software. So if someone on another team gets it, say your, your right guard gets it, we'll make sure that the left or the defensive tackle on the other team wasn't in that contact trace window. So that allows us not only to protect our team, but for other teams to protect each other uh, pre and post game from COVID. So one thing we do every week before the game is go back through. So players will have a practice and a game helmet. Um, part, some of it is to take the wear and tear because their practice helmets get a lot, of, a lot of beating throughout the week. You know, they practice in it four days a week, um, a, lot of, a lot of hitting uh, throughout the year. So. And the other side of it is we do it so it aesthetically looks clean too. I mean, the first thing you notice on our, on our television or on our games on television is uh, the helmet. It's the first part of the uniform that you draw your eyes to. So making sure it looks pristine, looks clean. Shot um, and it has nice shine. So kind of add some of the decals on the back. One thing we're going to add this year, just like we mentioned with the patches on the jersey, is the equality decal. So we do the same thing on the helmet, put it on the back. So it's a nice clean look. And you can see it on the back of all of our players' helmets. So we go through, I'm a big stickler. Again, the, the helmet's the first thing you notice. So big stickler on uh, cleanliness and crisp decals. So if the, hel if the helmet doesn't look clean, we'll replace the decals. We'll go through a couple hundred decals a year, but we make sure we want it to look right, especially guys like, like, um, <clears throat> like Felipe and Rakeem Guys that are high visibility on television, we want them to look clean and represent the football program the right way. So, and then at the, at the end, there's a special concoction we use. We'll spray on the helmet on Saturdays. Play, uh, managers will wipe it down. That way it gives a nice sheen uh, under the lights or under the sun. So it's a nice, nice glossy finish to it. So, and Felipe's all ready. So a couple of, the, some of the helmets we use, um, there's two different main helmets we use is the Speed, uh, Speed Flex. This is a precision fit. So. 
the inside of the guts is a mold to the player's head. So we're trying to work our way through getting their whole team in it. And so it's like a mouth guard for your head. So every little nook and crevice and bump on your head is cut out on the inside. So it's a nice custom snug fit. So the snug, the more snug the fit, the more custom the fit, the better and safer it is for the player. No, but thank, thanks for stopping by the equipment room, seeing how we prep for games, especially in 2020. So we look forward to having you in the stadium, watching on TV. Go Hogs.